right, you guys ready? Good first day, a lot of fun to be back out on the field. I thought we did a lot of things real well. Certainly can see our experience show up. And I thought we looked fast. You know, we're fast because we are physically fast, but also I thought we, we played fast today because we have a lot of experience and a lot of our players really understand what we're doing. And when you know what you're doing, you know the scheme, then you don't hesitate and you're, you're able to play fast. So, you know, I have to watch the video to really see how we did up front, um, see how the competition was between the offensive front and the defensive front. But I did like what we saw out there. I liked what I saw from, from Tyler and, and Brandon. Uh, Jacoby's still struggling a little bit, has a ways to go to get back to where he was last spring. Um, but it's good to see him back at, at full speed and healthy and he'll improve as the spring goes on. Unfortunately, we didn't have Jake Beckett out there today. Um, very unfortunate that we lost one of our Razorback family and his grandfather. And we all wish Jake and his family uh, the best. And our prayers and thoughts are certainly with them. That I'll just open up for questions. Did you like Tyler and Brand? What specifically did you see from them? Well, first of all, they, they were out there with a lot of confidence. And I thought they were demanding. Did a nice job leading us in the huddle, getting us to the line of scrimmage. I think they've both taken steps forward in their how you, you know, operate the cadence and you command it with your voice, which I wanted to really see. And their decision making was good. You know, Brandon hit a couple of deep balls that certainly pop out and stand out at you. I thought for the most part they made good decisions and threw the ball accurately. He looks fast. It's great to see him back out there. And one thing Dennis really knows is our scheme, our offense, and he's out there helping everybody else, showing tremendous amount of leadership. And it's good to see him. We're, we're happy he's back. It looked like Odin revved up running down the drill. I mean, look, just looks like a different guy. He's been very dedicated since he's been back. To, uh, you know. Very unfortunate that he got sick and he was very, very ill, but it seems like it's really motivated him. He's been very, very uh, focused in his concentration on everything he's been doing in the classroom, outside of football. I've been impressed with and Certainly, uh, he, you saw it today, he took a huge step forward in his poise. You know, right at the end of the one play when the linebackers popped him in the head, you know, um, Anthony Oden, from years past, we'd have been separating him after about five or ten minutes and been awful tired, wasted the rest of practice. He laughed about it, got back in the huddle, and continued to, to concentrate in practice. And I think that's a, a tremendous uh, step forward for him. Weight wise, I'm sure he lost. I can't hear you. Weight wise, was his eldest son. Did he lose him? Did he get it all back up? Yeah, he's doing good. He's back about where we want him. Uh, as far as his weight goes, his strength is just about there. A couple lifts he hit, uh, you know, personal bass, and a couple he's still down, but he's certainly on his way back. Is that a new football? Not football you guys have? Yeah, it is. It's a, a Nike football. So with our contract, uh, I had one more year left with our contract with Wilson. When that ran out, our new contract, we we go to the Nike ball. Anything different about it other than uh, they've done a really nice job working with us help him design it, so it's spinning pretty well for us. I like it now. Were you able to get an eye on Bray Cook and kind of see what he looked like the first time? I watched him a, a few times, and I'm very impressed with that. His athleticism, certainly his size, comes out and stays there. He's got to move a little quicker. He's hesitating a little bit. He's laid off the count a couple times. But to be able to jump in there um, after only being here for a couple months and line up with the ones against some really good players. I was impressed with them. Is that a new scoop and score girl? Because you got more than that. Yeah. yeah. Like we're going to make sure we can scoop and score. Where does that come from? You got the towel on the ground? Well, we're just working our technique on, on our um, SWAT team, our punt block team, where we're trying to, you know, clear ourselves, make ourselves small, get past the down alignment, and then once the ball's blocked, scoop and score. What about the move of Eric Bennett to safety? How did he look out there today? I thought Eric looked real well. You know, it, it helps us with that speed back there. And again, his ability to tackle and cover is something when we lost the gel, we're like, okay, we have to replace a guy that can do both. And moving him from corner makes us faster inside.
allows him to come down and cover a slot receiver. And he, I tell you what, he's a willing tackler and a very good tackler. A couple more minutes. Leadership. Well, you know, throughout the entire winter, I think that Nile Davis has been doing a great job with leading for us. You know, you can see how much he cares about his teammates, and that's a, a huge step as far as being a leader. Defensively, I think Jerry Franklin is doing a tremendous job leading for us. You know, to, to almost play every snap for three years and still have him back, you know, and he's natural leader just because of the way he plays the game. But now he's become a, a vocal leader and has really helped our young guys mature and, and get better. Mark Will Wade and uh, Robert Thomas, they, they didn't really look like their first practice. Mm -hmm. They talked about what they were going to do. Well, it's not Mark Wells. You know, he was there here in the fall. And uh, he's a guy with a tremendous amount of ability. Really run, catch. You saw how quick he is after the catch. Um, I'm impressed with Robert Thomas. You know, he's, he's very mature, he's very, very athletic. Uh, he can hip, he can um, really bend and move his hips. His flexibility gives him a chance to be a very good football player for us. Last one, Tom. Got something physical with Jacoby and Clark with a few throws. Well, he's overstriding right now hesitate. I think it's the combination of the two things. Number one, not having enough confidence in the decision that he made. So you saw him a couple times and let the ball come out of his hand, hold it too long. So his confidence in his decision making has to get back to where it was. And then he's overstriding a little bit. We can correct that. No question about that. Alright, thanks a lot.